Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to retrofit auto headlights and wipers to your BMW F Series. Now, when the F Series was released up until 2014, having the visibility pack as BMW called it was an added extra and therefore a lot of the cars got sent out without auto headlights or wipers. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to actually change that and how to retrofit it. Now, it is a very, very simple swap and very, very cheap to do. BMW, I think, were charging like 1,500 for actually the visibility pack when you can actually retrofit it yourself for less than 100 pound. All you need is a new light switch, as you'll see there, and this is the exact same one that I've got in the car with the uh, rear fog lights only, with the auto switch, and you also need a new sensor. You need the RL bs sensor which mine has the sbs mine has the auto aircon so therefore it's got a sun sensor and condensation sensor but we need the rlbs sensor which is now what we've got so we're going to go ahead and retrofit everything into the car and then all we need to actually do is just do the coding so we're going to go ahead and actually do that what? god damn get it done will you when the blow up now everybody's so unusual with it Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories we run into New York so you know Okay guys so as you'll see here we've now retrofitted the auto headlight switch into the car. We did take out the old one which is right here. As you'll see, this one just has the same exact switches as that one. I got like for like just with the auto switch. Now it is very simple to just take out, you just take this air vent out, it's not held in by any screws, it just literally pulls out to use a pry tool to take it out. Then this whole panel here just unclips off with the switch in place, push the old switch unit out and push the new one in. It's very, very easy and literally takes five minutes. You just take out the air vent completely, just pry it out and it's on clips and then this little trim piece here is on clips also and just pulls straight down as well then you can just replace the headlight switch. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take off the mirror and take off the casing to release the sensor that's underneath. Now with the mirror, you just wanna take off this cowling around it, which is protecting obviously the CAFCAS camera and the sensor itself. Then you're just gonna to wanna to pull the mirror downwards, to take the mirror off this bracket, off this hook to actually take out the new sensor because this actually sits on the sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and actually do that so let's just remove that and then I'll come back and show you how to remove the sensor. So there you have it, we have slid it off and if you can see there, it's actually on a bracket and this is what it locks onto, it just pulls downwards um, on the mirror, you just gotta give it a little bit of force. It's also got a switch there, which if you can see here, this is the old switch, this is the old sensor. Now, if you can just read that right there, you'll see it says SBS. So it's a sun sensor and we have a new sensor to go in there. Now what you're going to have to do is take off this clip, pry it off firstly before so you can remove it. So we're going to go ahead and pry that off and this is the connection line you want to be careful here when pulling this out um, of the sensor that it just doesn't break while you do it because you're going to need it to plug it into the other one. So let's get that sensor off the window. So that's the sensor now out of place and if you'll see there this is the clip. You're going to want to keep that clip because you know it's not broken so it'll still work. And if you'll read on the back there, you'll see it says right there, SBS4. So that is just the sun and daytime sensor. And if you see here on the back of the new one, you've got RLBS4. This is the one we're gonna be using. As you see, it's a straight direct fit. When fitting, you wanna be careful not to touch the silicone because this is what sticks to the windscreen. You'll see it right up there. We're gonna clip this one into position now and then come back very very easy to put in and take out we're just going to clip the connector back in put the mirror back up and then that's done then we move on to the coding now if you don't know the new clip comes with it to make it easy to just clip straight into place try and be careful not to touch the sensor as that can really mess it up you need to make sure the silicone is stuck it locks it directly into place so you cannot get it mixed up but as you see there that's the now new sensor in position. Now what we're gonna do is just put everything back together, put the mirror back on, and then we have a rain and light sensor fitted to the car. So now everything's fitted back together, and you'll see it takes literally two seconds to put everything back together and to disconnect it. We're now gonna start the coding process. The rain and light sensor is now fitted. 
the switch is fitted. Now, if you see here, the only thing that ain't fitted is the stalk for the automatic button control, which I do have. We're gonna be fitting that later on. And that's because we're gonna be changing this steering wheel over. So when we do the steering wheel, we're gonna change the stalks also. So today we're just gonna code in the auto lights and auto wipers. And this button will act right here for the auto wipers anyway. So we can just use that. The only difference is we're not gonna get a light on the stalk to announce this on auto wiper mode. That's about it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is now switch over to e-system and start coding the car. Okay guys, as you'll see here now, we've now completed the auto lights and auto wipers install. We've now changed the SZL steering column plus the switch, which is up here now. It's got the auto switch for the auto wipers. We've also got the auto headlight switch also, which you saw me install before we started. Now installing the SZL, the steering switch cluster, is very, very straightforward. You just take off the steering wheel. Once the steering wheel's off, unclip this cowling, which is very easy, just unclips. And then you have four six mil bolts to take off the SZL and it all clicks back on the same way. The coding is very, very straightforward for all of this. You just want a VO code 271 to your vehicle's vehicle order. And then you'll write it to the FEM on the car. It varies based on the car. F30 and F10 is completely different. On this one, it was just the FEM because the FEM holds all the data for the SZL and everything to do with the auto lights and wipers. That is the front electronics module. We have coded it fully in and it is all fully working. We now get the welcome lights upon unlocking the car because it's in the auto position. The auto wipers work perfectly. The best way to check them is to press the auto button and then pour water over the sensor here to make sure the wipers activate um, up and down when water's poured on the sensor. Another way to check the auto lights are fully working going on and off is to throw a towel over the sensor darken it and you should see the auto lights turn on now there is a delay on the auto lights on these systems they do take around two minutes to turn off once they activate it's not like the old systems the newer rlbs which is the rain and light sensor does take a while to actually turn off to so just bear that in mind if you're wondering why it's not turned off straight on why it's taking it a long time that is the main reason why because the new sensors have a delay of two minutes before they actually turn off. So that is the auto headlights and wiper install. And as I said, I will be showing you how to actually VO code on the membership with eSystem, but I use my other tool for the coding, which is much, much easier than eSystem, um, as I have no need to actually use that um, because I use other tools, which I use on the bench for coding these cars and everything else. So there you have it guys, that's the retrofit complete and it's very, very straightforward, very, very easy and not expensive at all. Um, in total, I believe the SZL switch was around 30 quid. This was around 30 pound and the RL S sensor was around 30 pound as well. So under 100 pound and we've got um, auto lights and auto wipers. Okay guys, so as you would have seen there, I've now shown you how to retrofit auto headlights and auto wipers to your BMW F series. It is very, 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 very straightforward to actually fit. Take the old switch out, put the new switch in, take the old RLBS sensor off as well, the windscreen, put the new one on, it clips straight into position, and then just change the SZL if you want the auto button for the auto wipers, which is a must if you do want them to have be automatic. You will not get them automatic with your normal intermittent wiper switch only. You need to have the auto switch to make them automatic. It is a useless feature as many people say because you have to turn it on all the time. But in the same sense, it just gives that more fully loaded feel to the car. I don't know why BMW wasn't doing this as basic on all their cars and they are making people have to pay for it as an option. It was absolutely ridiculous. But the fact that it only cost me less than hundred pounds to actually install and the coding took literally five minutes. All you have to do is literally VO code 271 for the rain and light sensor, then write it to your VO or the FEM, depending on your modules inside your car. It is very, very straightforward. It's all done for you and it puts all the code in by VO code in it. So I hope you guys are gonna actually enjoy this video. And as I said, it is not a big job to do, so you can do it yourself at home. Do not be scared to actually do it. The hardest bit about it is getting a steering wheel off, so just bear that in mind. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.